Hello guys, I've successfully seeded 10.5 million records into MySQL database with Laravel factories and seeders. Here you can see tasks database table with 10 million rows with total size of more than 2 gigabytes and also 500,000 users, so 20 tasks for each user. And that wasn't as easy as doing user factory create or task factory create. That would quickly crash the process to run out of memory. So in this video, I will show you how I did it in the Cedar. Also, I'll show you how much that process took, both on my local MacBook Pro and on a cheap DigitalOcean $6 server. And finally, I tried to query that tasks database table and I will show you how fast it is. So, can MySQL handle 10 million records? Let's see. First, let me show you what happens if you do try to seed half a million users like this, the straightforward way. So if we run migrate fresh seed this way, it is trying to seed, but it will stop without any errors. And this is even worse than having error of memory. Basically server process crashed, but it didn't give any errors. And the database table, if we refresh the users table, it is empty. So seeder did fail. So for bigger amount of data, don't try to do that. You need to be more creative. Let me show you. Here's the full script and I will comment it to you step by step. This is pretty long one with one more private method because we have separate logic for tasks. And first let's try with 10,000 users. And here are the main points that are happening here. First, instead of doing factory create, which causes one eloquent query for each record, we do batch inserting. So two things here, we divide all those records into batches, or in fact a batch of a batch, and I will explain you why in a minute, and then we fill in the array of users with some predefined values. And then we chunk those users by 1000 and perform insert operation, which allows to insert multiple rows in one SQL query. So one SQL query instead of 1000. So this is already a huge improvement, but also it requires to not rely on eloquent. So for example, created ad and updated ad need to be set manually. Also we define the ID manually to not go heavy on MySQL. Also we define the password upfront. And to be honest, now I see we could define even more things upfront like fake data. But for example, for emails, we not rely on fake email. Instead, we do fake username with ID of the user. So that is already faster. Then also after we see that data with user insert, see this line. We're freeing memory so that users is not in the memory anymore. And it is filled again with another loop. So there are multiple loops to avoid too much data being in the memory and causing RAM to crash. Then we have a separate private method create tasks for users for that chunk. So this is the array of 1000 users. And for them, there's a function to create tasks. And again, we populate the task ID for each task before insert, then we do for each user. And again, we populate the tasks into array. And we have a logic of having tasks four levels deep with parent task ID. So this takes a bit of time, perhaps without that logic, it would be a bit faster. But I intentionally wanted to kind of stress test the MySQL for that. And again, we fill in the created at and updated at manually, because later we're doing for each of the tasks insert not create. And then we're also doing unset for user task IDs and tasks. So all the bigger variables that we define, we free up the memory after we finish. And then there's also one more private method just to calculate the depth, which adds a bit more pressure and load on the database to calculate the depth for the task. So now let's try to run it as I said with 10,000 users at first locally migrate fresh seed, and it is running, it is not stopping. So it's doing something. And let's see how many seconds it takes. The result is this 36 seconds locally, and it succeeded. If we refresh our users table, we can see 10,000 rows here, and there should be 200,000 tasks. Yep, correctly. Now that is my MacBook Pro from 2023. So pretty new and powerful machine. What about cheaper DigitalOcean server for $6? I've created this droplet just for testing with Laravel Forge. And I've connected to it with SSH. And let's see how much it takes for 10,000 users on that remote server. In this case, it will ask, of course, if I want to run it in production. Good. And I will skip to the result. And there we go. It took 131 seconds, so over two minutes. And here's a table of comparisons with all the tests that I've done while preparing for this video. So you can compare 
this. So first, this Cedar script didn't crash with even 10 million records locally and also on DigitalOcean with one gigabyte of RAM and generally it's roughly three to four times slower. So if you're working locally on MacBook Pro and plan to deploy something on cheaper DigitalOcean, just keep that number in mind. And of course, this is just with one user with myself running the seeds without any other users using that server at the moment. Now, what if we try to run the query from those tasks and not just select account, but with where condition order by this load child tasks, by the way, is a scope for eager loading other tasks. So it's not relevant for the main query. And this is the result. I've tweeted about it recently. And first I tested it on 2 million records, not 10 million. And the result is this nine milliseconds and the structure of the table is default laravel so foreign key user id which automatically does the indexing so we're doing task where user id equals one for example and is blazingly fast again for one user locally i tried it as sql query and same result seven milliseconds or roughly something like that and also i've tested it for 10 million rows and the result was absolutely the same up to 10 milliseconds and the most interesting thing, the same result was for cheap DigitalOcean server. I don't have that screenshot at the moment, but it was the same. So one query from one table with index for this situation, 10 million rows for MySQL is fine. So that is kind of overall conclusion of this experiment. How can MySQL handle the import, which is solved by chunking and inserting and freeing up the memory of the server. And then for select from one table, no big deal. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video, but I will continue experimenting with that specific project with various queries, different indexing strategies and stuff like that. And I will show you that in the upcoming videos. Or if you don't fully trust the YouTube algorithm to show my new videos on your feed, there's a better way to get all the news about what I'm posting. And on Laravel Daily, there's a link to newsletter. So for many, many years, I don't even remember like eight years or nine years, I've been sending weekly newsletter every Thursday with links from both my own content videos and tweets and everything else, and also from the community. So if you want to receive the links about the latest news and what happens in Laravel community, join more than 8,000 subscribers at the moment. The link will be in the video description. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.